today, the 44th precinct holding a day of fun for the community to ease their minds from the recent gun violence that has been plaguing our city. News 12's Julio Avila was there and shows us how they're taking a stand. Peace and unity, do this for community. Music, games, food, and a fun time? Probably not what you think of in order to combat gun violence, but as Avril Francis tells us... The family smiling, enjoying something other than worrying about guns. So that the, the games is a way of saying, let's come together, play together, and have fun together. This is the NYPD for the Kids, set up by the New York City Police Foundation and the Community Affairs Bureau, raising awareness on an issue that's been ravishing our city. It was set up by Claremont Park in the 44th Precinct. Because that is where the highest crime was told, I was told. So today the community come out to stand together with everyone who have lost their loved ones to gun violence. But the pain still lingers for those who lost someone to gun violence. She was one of the casualties. Sok Pini Tay and Yahisha Gomez still mourn their 11-year-old daughter, Kihara Tay. They said that our kids, our neighbors, the community is not safe out there. You know, it's sad that they're scared to even come out. It. She was killed a month ago when she was hit by a stray bullet. The two men allegedly responsible were caught and arraigned. I feel like we need to be here for her. At In least. every event, that has to do yeah. with she gun violence. But spreading awareness came in other ways. Now, one of the organizations here was Rise to Power, giving away these free dresses. And the organization tells us that these dresses are just one tool to help combat crime. Here's how. When you look good, you feel good. And when you get something that you can get off the street and not have to be on the street, you don't need to be on the street. When we band together, there's nothing that can stop us. Now, even though there has been a number of shootings lately, gun violence is actually down 11% across the city compared to this time last year. And that's according to the NYPD. And those same statistics show that gun violence here in the Bronx is down by 8% at Claremont Park. Julio Avila, News 12.